it is time to play more home front let's go play home front 2 in an alternate world where north korea made the iphone they use the iphone to take over the entire world much like apple has the costume of the kpa guys is kind of not that good like i'm pretty sure his helmet is made of foam but yeah they tried we don't tell him nothing brady you hear? Yeah, if you want to get shot in the head like a moron. No. See? No. That's why I'm going to start talking. Start talking. Okay, my name is Jimmy Homefront. I'm from the game Homefront 2 The Revolutionaries. I'm going to kill you with a gun by the end of the game, probably. Oh, fuck you. Or that guy will kill you. Hit X on the cell phone. Oh, dude, is this an iPhone 13? Oh, nice, man. Here. Now I can make some animojis. This game kills me. Get it? This game was made in CryEngine, can you tell? No? How about now? You can convert your gun to another gun by hitting right bumper on it goes maximum crisis and becomes an SMG. That's a pretty cool feature. Brady, best if you go with G-Man. Just do what he says. Try not to die. I don't trust G-Man. You kidding me? That guy's the bad guy in Half-Life. I'm not looking for any unforeseen consequences. Rise and shine, Mr. Homefront. Rise and shine. Not to imply you've been fronting on the job. Oh, a bike. You can ride a bike in this one? You can't shoot a gun while on the bike, though, it seems, which kind of sucks. This game's not that good. Oh, bad guys. I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I was, just, I was just driving my bike on the street. I was using the road. It's a public street. Jeez. Flashpoints are time-sensitive events that, when completed, grant you valuable rewards. Well, I love me some valuable rewards. That's why I have a Walmart credit card with 1% cash back. Another, how many drones? Ugh. I hate drones. Drones are never fun to fight in any game. You ever notice that? Hold your position and fight off the assault. The assault? They don't even know I'm here. Oh, that guy's, that guy's pointing his gun directly at me. Shh, don't tell him. Look upstairs on the table. I think you'll find it very useful. It better be an assault rifle. Good luck, Brady. This better be an M16 red dot. What is that? That is That sucks. That's just firecrackers. Stay out of sight of cameras, vehicles, and drones. Once the alarm level reaches zero, the alarm stops and the pursuit will Th This end. thing should say, have you played Grand Theft Auto? And if you say yes, it skips this whole part. So in Crisis 1, you go to the island and play as Nomad, but then Nomad dies in a comic book off screen, and in 2, you play as Alcatraz, who is really Prophet, because Prophet kills himself, then his AI is inside of the suit, and it also takes over Alcatraz's DNA. So then, at the end of Crisis 3, you take off the suit, and it shows Prophet was Alcatraz's body. So did the suit, like, rewrite Alcatraz's DNA to make him look like Prophet? Or is, like, the suit, like, disguising itself as Prophet's face? It just it doesn't make any sense. Uh, sir, this is a Willows. Welcome to Willows. Try our Chrissy Kikensendich. Want the battle okay, rifle or the assault mine. rifle? Definitely the assault rifle. With them behind us. All right, stop, stop talking. He's still doing, talking. I'm trying to do a YouTube chaos. bit. He won't shut up. Oh my god. Okay, is he done? Is he done talking? Oh, now there's a battle going on? What? What? Did, where did this guy come from? I'm just trying to buy the gun. What is happening? <laughs> the guy just spawned in behind me. What is happening? Okay, can I buy the gun now, guys? I'm gonna go for it. Finally, I can buy the assault rifle. I'm gonna liberate so many home fronts with this bad boy. Yeah, so we thought we were gonna be uh, enslaved to the North Korean army forever, but then one guy ran through our district and killed 500 of them and like killed all their tanks and turned on all the radios. So I guess we're gonna rise up against them. He's a pretty inspiring guy. All new at Wendy's, try our new clip art hamburger. We could have got a real picture, but we didn't. Only 1.99, it has no meat. It's just lettuce, really thick tomato and cheese. There's no patty on there. This lady's super into the resistance. Look at her go. She's really beaten on this abandoned van. That's how you know the people of Philadelphia are ready to rise up. Now I get a cutscene of the people rising up. Because I turned off enough of the bad guy's flashlight towers. 100% communism, oh yeah. Why would they do this? Because they're the bad guys. Leaving bloody corpses is kind of their shtick. Have you played a FPS before? Yes, I've liberated Wendy's. This will truly inspire courage into the hearts of Americans worldwide. It'd be better to liberate McDonald's though. Like, McDonald's is more popular. But Wendy's is a good start. At least it wasn't a subway. Liberating a subway would have had a negative effect on morale. Wow, the home front resistance has a home front concept artist working for them. That's pretty good. Nice drawings of the bad guys and their weak spots. Home front 2 features an all new feature where you can see the day night cycle passing in real time. Watch as the window shadows really rapidly change. They go a little bit too fast. Maybe they should have slowed them down a little bit. Hack the forklift. In some games, you can drive the forklift, but in Homefront 2, you hack the forklift, which is not as cool, but it is something. At least the forklift is an interactable object. Well, maybe I'll make my own report. Because I've heard things too, Harris.
Like when the authorities came to take your daughter to the camps. Yeah, the story has never been the strong point of the Homefront franchise. I really wish I could skip every cutscene in this game. Hmm, do I want the blunderbuss? Yes, I want the blunderbuss. Screw assault rifles, I'm gonna be a vampire hunter. Ah, yes, I have my ancient pioneer homemade wooden blunderbuss. Just gotta go ahead and put the laser sight on this. And uh, who could forget the red dot sight? Gotta make sure my blunderbuss has precision accuracy. I like this area. This area is kind of cool. This area is like an evil neighborhood. You can tell because it's red. It's a good contrast to Destroyed City, which is the rest of the map. This game is trying to say that police surveillance states are bad, but I mean, this neighborhood looks pretty nice. I don't know. Seems like a good idea to me. I'll sacrifice my civil liberties for a Facebook neighborhood. If this is what the metaverse is gonna be like, I'm all for it. Here's the ultimate test of his home front too good. Will the rubber ducky make a squeaking sound one shot? No. Copy that. Copy. We're on it. Did she say copy that copy? Is his code name copy? That doesn't seem like a very good code name for a radio banter. Dude, this is the neighborhood where all the elites live, like all the traitors who join the North Koreans live in this neighborhood. I almost won over the hearts and minds by disabling like three floodlights. This is where their most loyal citizens are. And I was like, hey, what if, what if I kill two drones and turn off a floodlight? They're like, yeah, yeah. We'll join the good guys again after that, I guess. Hey, welcome to the newspaper and fire stand. We sell a newspaper and also fires in case you... <laughs> In case you're cold. Official allotment of impact font. You get 17 letters, no more, no less. Was that actually 17 letters? That'd be really good if it was. It probably was way less. O-F-F-I-C-I-A-L. It's eight. A-L-L-O-T-M-E-N-T. -L -L -E Holy crap, I eyeballed that? That was actually 17 letters? I am really good at home front. But then I was transferred into the logistics department. The logistics department? Whoa, the story is getting good now. Yeah, show him who's boss. Beat up this random car. It's not even a bad guy car, it's just a car. But presumably they banned baseball, so any opportunity to use a baseball bat's a good one. What are we doing over here? What are they manufacturing? They're just slamming sledgehammers onto the ground. She's done. She's done hammering. She realized she wasn't accomplishing anything by hitting a hammer on the ground. Yeah, you better sweep up that concrete floor with like no dirt on it. This guy's job is to keep the place nice and clean. He's <laughs> he's not doing a great job. Collect the gas mask. Ooh, Metro. Will the gas mask have a weird gas mask eyeball overlay that blocks half the screen? No, it doesn't, okay. It just adds a little bit of a vignette effect. This thing would be good for taking some Skyrim screenshots. Man, the city looks like crap. I wonder what could have caused this. Oh yeah, that's right. The bad guys keep spewing fart gas out of the vents. I don't know what the fart gas does, but I've seen it all over the place. Put the high tier prisoner behind our chain link fence. Nobody can escape those easily. There's no way he can escape now. Unless a RCXD comes and gives him a gun. Ha <laughs> good guy, you'll never escape your cell. Wait, you're already out of it? Come on. We didn't even capture you for five seconds. Hey, helicopter died, nice. Is that the first helicopter death in this game? I think it is. I think it's the first helicopter I've seen die. That's crazy. No helicopter deaths in a game like this? You might as well take his prisoner outfit. He isn't exactly making use of it anymore. Besides, you'll need to blend in with the rest of the inmates if this is gonna work. They'll never know that the guy walking around in the prisoner outfit with the light machine gun red dot is the good guy. Ah, what do we have here? Could this be the entirety of Time Splitters 2? Oh yeah, it absolutely is. Finally, Homefront 2 gets good. So yeah, if you weren't aware, Homefront 2 contains an entire PC remaster of Time Splitters 2. Like, the whole game is here. I don't know why, but it does have it, which is very cool. It's worth buying the game just for that, honestly. Homefront 2 is like, yeah, it's all right, but Time Splitters 2, that's a good game. It was very bold of them to put a really fun game right next to the run around the prison aimlessly section. You could play Time Splitters 2 here, or you could just run around and hit X in all the doors, and you don't know which door is the right one for like five minutes. Doesn't that sound pretty fun? Who needs Time Splitters? Homefront 2's got the much better gameplay. Stay the fuck back! Okay. What? <laughs> I had to actually stay back? He wants me to go play Time Splitters. He's like, why'd you come down here? Didn't you see Time Splitters 2 up there? This dialogue has to stop. I wanna I wanna blow up the bad guys and win the game. I wanna kill the airship. If they ever make Homefront 3, they should advertise it by saying, hey, none of the NPCs have tongues. The bad guys cut off all the allied NPC tongues in this game as part of their occupation, so none of them can talk to you. Point of no return. Starting this mission will prevent you from completing any remaining jobs or strike points. Oh no, not the strike points. I can't believe I left them unfinished. How will I sleep at night knowing I didn't complete every strike point in Homefront 2? Oh my god. Look, it's like the actual city of Philadelphia. I was in Fallout 4 Boston for the whole game, but here's some actual skyscrapers. Cool. Managed to hijack the window cleaning platform controls. Give me a second. <laughs> Are those something you have to hijack? I think you just hit a lever and it comes down. I don't know if you need to hack those. I guess hijack just means take control. So I guess technically she did hijack control. She definitely made it sound more impressive than it is. I'm pretty sure you just hit one button. Don't worry. 
I hacked into the elevator mainframe. I can go to any story I want. Hey, can you get up, please? We're trying to make you confess your crimes on TV. If you, if you could stand up and walk, it'd be better. I've been playing this game for a long time. I have like 20 hours in this stupid game. So if you could just go ahead and sit on the desk and wrap up the story, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I want you to read this. And then what happens? I'll let you go. I don't think he's gonna let him go, guys. <laughs> Time to use the missile truck that we apparently had for the entire game to kill the airship. I would've liked to kill that thing like 20 hours ago. That would've been nice. Would've saved me a lot of time. Oh no, Jack Parrish. I can't believe Jack Parrish perished. Actually, I can believe it. His name was Parrish. I really should've seen that one coming. I'm gonna do something good for once in my life. Make it count. What? What is she doing? What is she doing? Is she gonna- what? That's just one car. <laughs> Why did she do that? Why did she sacrifice herself for one car? I have a gun that has like 15 missiles in it. I could have killed 15 of those with one clip. And so all the characters from Homefront died leaving no room for a sequel. Homefront the Revolution, what a game. If you ever played Far Cry and said, I wish there was a Far Cry in a city that also had a lot of bugs and wasn't very polished, and also had the gun customization system from Crisis, then this is the game for you. I got it for five bucks. I I'm gonna go ahead and say it's worth five bucks. I got five bucks of enjoyment out of this game. Also, it does come with the entirety of Time Splitters 2, which is a much better game, so there's really no reason not to buy it. Oh my God, Homefront has loot crates. How do I, how do I get loot crates? How do I spend real money to unbox one of those? Believe it or not, microtransactions don't exist in this game. What? I can't pay real money to unbox the loot crates? I gotta earn them in game? This game sucks.